Welcome to how to make iPhone apps. In this video we will learn the following. Let me introduce you to Sean. Thanks Sean, take it away. In this session we will learn about how to create a shadow effect for an image. This will make your images pop out. Let's go ahead and start Xcode. Go to File New, New Project. Create a single view application. Select next. The product name will be shadow effect. And use automatic reference counting. Select next. Go ahead and create your project. Let's go ahead and run it. As you see here, we have a blank app. Let's go ahead and quit the simulator. Let's add an image to our supporting files. Control, left click, add files. And then navigate to your sample code. And there's graphics. And go to the shadow folder. And we're just going to grab the sunflower as our image. Allow it to copy the item. Select Add. Now we have our sunflower image. We're going to go ahead and add that to the zip, which is our user interface. So let's go ahead and do that. With this utilities icon selected and this objects icon selected, navigate within the objects to find the image view. Left drag the image view onto the screen. We actually want it kind of small, smaller. So manipulate it with your mouse to make it smaller. We're going to um, drop two of these on actually. And go ahead and grab another one and resize it. One below the other. Um, try to make them the same size um, if you can visually. Okay, so those are about the same size now. Um, I have one. I have one on top of the other. I'm going to go ahead and go to the H file, which is the header file, and I'm going to import the library that will allow us to do the shadow effect. And we're going to use the, the quartz core. And so this quartz core library will allow us to work on what is called the um, CA layer. And that's what we'll work with. Go ahead and declare a property of non-atomic and it's going to be an IB outlet, which means the interface builder, which is this zip, has access to see it, this property. We're going to, that's a UI image view that we're going to have a reference to. We're going to call this property image view. Um, so we had it on our header. We're going to synthesize it in our implementation file so that it's available to our code. Synthesize it like so. And then um, let's go ahead and tie this property, which is this image view, to the zip. Um, we're going to tie it to this second one here. So go ahead and navigate to your utilities pane, and then the connections inspector icon. Left drag this referencing outlet to the file's owner so that the header file has this image view associated, our property, 
our header property here, image view, is now associated with this image here on this user interface. Uh, next step is let's go ahead and assign the um, images to this user interface. So with this utilities pane selected, go ahead and go navigate to the attributes inspector. In the drop down for image, select your sunflower. Select the next UI image view and do the same thing. So with the attributes selected, select the drop down for the image, sunflower. And of course, this first image here, we have no um, header property associated with it because we're not going to do it, anything with this. In this bottom one here, we did associate with the connections inspector that image view property. And this is what will actually add the shadow effect here to so that you can see the contrast between the two effects, one with an effect and one without. Go ahead and go to the implementation file. This is your M file. And in the view did load, this is where we're actually going to go ahead and apply our shadow effect. So we're going to do two methods. Um, this we have a reference here to our image view and of course the layer this is a CA layer uh, which was how we imported this quartz core framework to work with and we have a shadow radius uh, 3.0 and then we have the shadow opacity of 0 0.5 and just keep in mind that we're modifying the CA layer this is called layer here, but um, if you left click on it um, and you go, jump to definition, um, you'll see that it has a CA layer property. And that's what we're using Quartz Core to manipulate. Let's go ahead and run this app and see our effect. And you see how this has a nice little pop out effect, like a shadow. And of course, this is our standard image with nothing applied. Um, we'll go ahead and qu quit the simulator, and that completes how to apply a shadow. And just keep in mind that there's other effects you can apply to that CA layer. Um, just fool around with them. They're available for you to look at. And this concludes this session on how to apply a shadow effect to an image.